Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for August 27th, 28th, and 29th. That's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now this is a general reading, so I use my Radley Valentine decks. I will use my Angel Tarot cards for the main reading. I'm going to just pull one from my Guardian Angel Tarot cards. Then I am going to pull one from my Osha Zen Tarot cards for words of advice. I finish up with my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, all the decks, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. I am an intuitive channeler. That means that I open myself to higher power. My job is just to deliver the message. And best if I just don't understand what I'm saying. Okay? Okay. Now, I do love it when you, um, you know, when you comment. So please comment. Please also subscribe. Click on the bell. Please like. All of that, you know, the bell for notification, all of that helps to keep me on air, and it gets our message out, so thank you so much. I really appreciate you doing that. Now, um, I am going to go and use my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards, and when I do talk about higher power, higher power is is our, um, you know, is our divine, it's our source, is our guardian angel, our spirit guide, our voice of the universe, whoever that is to you. That is your personal relationship. But I will say higher power, so all you need to do is just kind of, you know, just think to who that belongs to for you. Okay, let's go on. I am feeling very much, um, I am doing a lot of posting on my blog, and then I do try to send it to um, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So I am trying to do that. I did post something this morning on the Schumann Resonance I, and again, I, will, I said I am not an expert. I'm not even a very good amateur at this. But there is a lot of energies that are coming through. So I would take a look, if you would, and see what you think about it. Okay? So here we go. This one jumped out. This one here. Remember, reversed cards have stronger energies. Let us see what we have. I am feeling it's, it's kind of a strange energy for this week to the weekend. It's kind of like there's... It's like it's like it's um, you know like we're just kind of in a waiting mode. The energies are is swirling all around us. We can feel this, but it's like we're in this waiting mode. It's like things things are happening. We're not necessarily seeing it, but we're feeling it. So the air to me is very electronically charged right now, except that we don't necessarily see it in our natural. Okay, let's see what the cards have though. My John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle. Harmony. Oh, I love that one. Now, six is the number of man. I will also tell you, please write down your numbers. What you do is you take your numbers for your sign, whatever I read for your sign, or even here. You put those numbers in. You put angel um, numbers. You put it in your browser, your search browser, angel numbers behind it. Press enter. A lot of different information comes. Um, the angel, the supernatural, they speak through numbers. So a lot of times the numbers have importance. Okay, so six is the number of man. It is what you put into this, what you put into the energies. You know, what are you building? What are you making? Or what are you not building? What are you not making? Harmony is getting along. Harmony is coming to a place of peace. Harmony is also that, um, that healing energy that helps to um, make us stronger, but also to bring us up. So it could be, you know, this is, again, coming together type of energy. Let's see our next card. That's the one that that threw, you know, that kind of popped out. Next card is we have an eight. Now, eight has um, unlimited opportunities. It's also possibilities, you know, things like that. So something could be happening this week that pulls us all together as we go forward. These are very positive cards. These are very, you know, very much peaceful cards. So we have harmony. We have positive movement forward. But on this one, this is kind of getting me on how... Even though we come together with harmony, we are all on our own journey as we sail through and we navigate through the waters of our lives. Interesting with that. Next card is six. So we have a six, eight, six. Sixes are um, kind of sandwiching those possibilities. This is memories of love. This has a lot to do with thinking back, 
kind of having a, not, a lot of nostalgia, kind of saying, oh, if only I had done this, if only things were happening like they used to happen. The thing is, those are memories, those are pasts, and we have to move forward, and things are moving forward for us. So in many ways, you know, this is a very lovely reading. This is very positive. The 686 has a lot of energy there. Um, you know, I'm getting that two energy, so that could be like a three, four, three type of energy also. So let's see how this all plays out for the weekend, okay? Now, let's start our readings. Hello, my Libras. Welcome to the weekend. Let's see what we have here. Okay, one more time to shuffle. And remember, anything reversed has a little stronger energy. And there we go. First card is reversed. There we are. Okay, let's see. Energies are going to be very interesting this weekend. Or just They're just entering into a different feel to them. And I think you're probably feeling it too, my Libras. First card is the Page of Water. Now, I do like the Page of Water. The Page of Water has fun, optimism. The Page of Water has a lot of love, relationship energy. Now, you know, pages are very optimistic in themselves. Pages also to, has to do about your work, your job, your career. It's earth energy. The underlying energy of the page is that. Water energy is our Scorpio. It is our Pisces. It is also our Cancer. It's fluid, very emotional. There is romantic energy here. There is finding that relationship, whether that be your work, job, career, personal, intimate, interpersonal, or family, or home. But there is this really sense, there's a renewed sense of optimism. So whatever is happening around you, it's it's like you're, you're ha there's a little bit more hope. There's a little bit lightness of the spirit happening, lightness in, you know, in the dark type of energy going on around you. Okay, so this is intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly. Now, remember, too, that, you know, when we are in Virgo season, it is ending up the astrological year for you. So there's a lot of things for you to just kind of get all nice and clean and shiny so you can start your new year. Now, you know, and this is the astrological year, but it's kind of like that New Year's Eve type of energy where, you know, when it's for me, I want my, my, my new sheets on the bed. I want, um, or I want clean sheets on the bed. I want everything put away. I want to have as much of things, you know, so when I start that new year, that things are bright and shiny. Okay, so this has that type of energy for you. So it's kind of like, it's like something's happening for you this weekend that's just really, it's all bright and shiny around you. Okay, a new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. Next card is the Hermit. Now, this is a nine. Nine has like all the pieces are there. It's, you know, it's clear to see. You just have to put them together now. Or it can also be the presents wrapped. All you need to do is put a bow on it and deliver it. Now, this is also Archangel Raziel. Now, the hermit is stepping back a little bit. The hermit is, is connecting with your higher power. So there could be something very spiritual going on this weekend for you. There could be some, you know, some epiphany type of moments for you, some light bulb type of moments for you. The hermit is also, well, while this has this really lovely and loving energy around this the hermit steps back a little bit and watches things you know watches things from afar and sometimes you know decides do i want to go in or do i want to just go back and you know and take care of my own needs my own spirituality so the hermit has for you right now the hermit has a little bit of a of a choice here of the you know do i go or do i not do i not now this is um, spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching. It's also about self-discovery. Next card here is the lovers. Now, the lovers does relate back to, I think we had the lovers in, in the John Holland. So we have a nine and a six. Both of these are derivatives of three. Um, six is number of man. It's the energies you put into something, what you can create. 
Um, the lovers is Archangel Raphael. Raphael is healing. So there could be some healing in relationships happening here. It could also be looking back at something in, in, in order for you to move on from it. Now we are in the waning part of the moon as it gets smaller. And there's a lot of releasing type of energy. So the re you, by releasing some of these things that have been holding you on, then, that you've been holding on to, that could be where your spirit just starts to bubble up a little bit more so. And that could be where you're feeling free. All right. So intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions. Good health. So your, yours is kind of a... Um, is a supernatural type of energy that is going to play itself to some degree in the natural. Okay, let's go on here and see what we have. My guardian, okay, you want to come out. That one is reversed. We have the helper of abundance. Now, Abundance is your earth energy, it is your Taurus, your Virgo, it is your Capricorn, and we are in Virgo season. The helper, I believe that's the king, I could be wrong with this, but the helper of abundance, although you have a lot to do, now this has to be the, um, the knight, I'm going to have to figure these ones out a little more. The helper, although you have a lot to do, it's important that you get organized first. Once planning is complete, you can roll up your sleeves and get to work. Your guardian angels surround you and are ready to help out. This card also indicates a very loving, kind, and loyal friend, someone with a big heart, a quick wit, and endless patience. That person could be yours, could be you. So this, this does have some kind of like you need to get yourself together, you need to know where you're going, and it could be maybe this is that friend relationship. Hmm. Well, let us see now. Let's go on to my Osha Zen Tarot for words of advice. Here we are. Yes, yeah, so you have a nine and a six. They are very, very strong energies. Here we are here. Now you just need a three. Then you, I think you would have, is it three, six, nine, or nine, six, three is the, is the Tesla numbers? Okay. Now this is a five. Five has change energy. So right now you have a nine, six, and five. And this is all about comparison. It's, so it's kind of like when you're looking at your life, when you're looking at where you're at, what are you judging it against? What are you comparing it against? Are you comparing some to someone else that might have had a different path than you? And so you're, you're kind of in this sense of, you know, with your Libra scales, you may be a little bit unbalanced because you're kind of wanting what the other has. You know, this thing about the grass is always greener on the other side. You know, you do not know their struggles. You don't know what they went through either. But you, and you don't know what, um, you know, what you, what they, um, what they were given and, and what they had to give in order to receive that. So comparison is kind of like looking and also looking at your own blessings and knowing what you have worked for and possibly where, you know, what is it that you want to be doing next. So it, it, it's, it's, kind, it's an interesting energy. You know, is it better to be the oak tree? Is it better to be the bamboo tree? Both of them have their strengths. There is an internal type of argument that you can make. So, it, it, but, you know, the comparison does throw things a little bit out of balance for you, my Libras. You're going to have to tell me what this is all about with that for you, okay? Okay, let's go on and see what we have here. So the only thing, oh, so you have a 9, 6, and a 5. Now, let's see what crystal or energy is going to be helpful for you. Carnelian. I do have carnelian. It's sitting right over there. Carnelian is also about your, you know, speaking your truth. But this is self-trust, relationships, relationship rejuvenation, which could be these two cards. Powers of concentration, healing from abuse, which could also have to do with the lovers and Archangel Raphael. Interesting. You will have to let me know what this is about, my Libras, because... You've, your, your energies, they do have a common fe theme, but they, they're not necessarily as, you know, connected where I can see it. So I don't have to understand, and I'm always glad when I don't. Anyway, 
Remember to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell. You keep me on air. I really need you, so thank you. No matter what the world throws at us, my Libras, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.